I'm Amanda from Lab and Renovations, and I am here with another fun DIY idea for you. Welcome to the DIY Camper Playhouse build. My husband and I have decided to build a camper style playhouse for our kids in the backyard, and this is part one of that process. As you can see right now, we basically have a stage in our backyard. What you're looking at is the base of the playhouse. So this is kind of the base. We're gonna do some faux um, tires in the front to make it look like a camper. And what you see here is what's gonna be the interior of the camper. This is the flooring. We went ahead and painted it because once the walls are up, it's gonna be a lot harder to get it painted. So we wanted to get it done now while there's nothing in our way and it's a little bit easier. So today, I'm gonna to show you how we constructed this space, how we got the flooring on here, and I'm gonna show you what I did to make this cute diamond pattern all over the flooring. And then next week, I will be back with an update on the progress that we make. And hopefully the next time you see it, it will have walls. Fingers crossed. We'll see. The first step was to build some supports for the base to sit on. As you can see, these are just U-shaped pieces with a long support in the middle. We had to get them level, and it wasn't easy. Oh! Will you please come here? Is it level? I'm so hot, Amanda. I'm so hot. Wow, that's okay. Thank you. That's amazing. That's pretty amazing. Wait, it's lovely. Woo! It's lovely. It is. It's pretty amazing. Once we knew everything was nice and level, we began to build the framing for the base of the camper. This is eventually going to be the floor, as you saw in the beginning of the video. We just used long exterior screws to drill these one by six boards into place, and again, celebrated every time we managed to get a level. We put four boards all the way around in the size that we wanted for our camper, which is about 10 foot by six foot. Once those were done, it was time to add the joists in the middle to support the flooring. We did five long joists all the way across the board, and then we added some pieces throughout to help stabilize things. Once all the joists were in and we knew things were secure, I added one by six boards all across the top to act as flooring. Then I lightly sanded it to get rid of any potential splinters and I painted the whole thing with porch and floor paint. My son requested a diamond pattern for the floor and he wanted it to be black and white. So I did two base coats of just plain white paint. And then I used a square of plywood to create a diamond pattern on the floor. I found this to be the easiest way to get the look I wanted without wasting a ton of tape or a ton of time. I just lined up the corners and taped all around the square of plywood. Then, once I had the pattern completely taped off, I went back in with a straight edge and I cut the excess tape so that the corners lined up perfectly without any gaps between them. Once that was done, I just used some black pour and floor paint to paint each of the diamonds and then I removed the tape and we had perfect little diamonds all over the floor. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you were here today. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see what's next with this camper build, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss next week's video. Hopefully the next time you see it, it's gonna look a lot different. I'll see you then.